Okay, Aquarius, this is a part two to the reading that we just uploaded. Love is the highest frequency, so stay in that frequency, Aquarius. That's how y'all gonna continue to overcome this. Okay, and I feel like operate out of the frequency of love so that y'all can call in this love that's coming. Keep it on the lowest in reverse because whoever this was that's been getting away with this on the low without their name being exposed, that's it. They a coattail writer and a backbiter. So it's like that's probably why this person wanted you around. You made them look good. You know what I'm saying? You made them look good. They got a lot of props for being with you. New wardrobe is in reverse. So y'all can be contemplating that. Go ahead. Go ahead and treat yourself. This person is just, they was trying to keep it on the low that they were stuck in the past. Because once again, they arrogance got in the way. You know, this was definitely a situation where somebody thought they was going to be better off without them. And you was going to be worse off without, somebody thought that they would be better off without you. And that you would be worse off without them. And they finding out that that's not true. I'm getting blonde and redhead, okay? What is this blonde and redhead energy? Some of y'all might be blondes or redheads or have that in y'all hair right now, okay? Be kinder to yourself. So if y'all been thinking about going ahead and uh getting a new wardrobe, get it. If y'all been thinking about dyeing y'all hair, go ahead and do it. Y'all been being kind to others, so others are going to start to be kind to you. Yeah, we getting that twice because it's saying be kinder to yourself. Being kinder to yourself will help attract others who will be kinder to you. And then this one is pink butterflies. Your kindness is being recognized by others or you can expect kindness from others. So I feel like it's the same. It's like you put out so much kindness while this wicked ass individual just keep on trying to like stank up your space like i said they like a lingering ass fart like whenever this person around you probably just smell ass in the air they probably gonna be in a hospital for chlamydia or whatever the case is but an eye for an eye a two for a tooth your ancestors ain't letting this rest they definitely about to clap back on this ass okay so orchestrated in the ethers you are so angelic spin the block yeah this person was hoping that they'll come back this person need to read a book and do their research, especially when it comes down to black magic and how you shouldn't even be touching it when it comes down to somebody that don't deserve it. You need to be justified in your actions if you're going to take it that far. And this person wasn't. They was just a dumbass that fumbled the bag and they was mad about it, so they decided to take it out on you. Okay? Can you let your guard down for me? This could be the new love that's coming in. This person is not immature or, or an energy vampire or going to try to steal your inheritance. Y'all need to start getting out more, okay? So y'all can be recognized. So y'all can meet the person that y'all meant to meet. Like if y'all just been kind of humbly staying at home, being this homebody, that ain't going to be it. Like, yeah, whatever this is, like if this person got y'all evicted or they was hoping for y'all to get evicted, it's not going to happen. All this person going to have to live off of is your memory because I feel like y'all really not going to deal with this person no more. Like, even if y'all do have kids with this individual, I kind of just feel as though, you know, y'all, y'all going to have, it's like a middleman. It's like, you know what? I don't even want to deal with you on a personal level. So I'm going to drop the kids off at your mama house or whatever the case is. But y'all don't want to see this person no more. <coughs> I feel like if y'all never had to see them again, it'd be too soon. Like, never ain't even long enough. It's like, I don't want to see this person in not a nan lifetime. Can you forgive me? Can we fall in love again? This person crazy. My family is tired of me saying your name. They want me to just call you. I'm just not ready to settle down yet. So this person was already settled down with you when they decided they didn't want to settle down yet. But then they seen it wasn't nothing out here. So that's the thing. Y'all might not be a blonde or a redhead. This person could have ran through every flavor in the Baskin Robbins 21 flavor goddamn uh, box of damn ice cream. And they still not satisfied. They still keep being drawn back to you. High cheekbones. I adore your flowing hair. You brought the sun out that illuminated my truth. And you about to bring the sun out that's really going to illuminate this person's truth in a negative way. Because y'all done putting up with that shit. Now it's time to fight back. Period. And however that is for you. Because I'm seeing whatever it is. Y'all fight back in a high vibrational way. Y'all got the right to tell y'all story. 
you know, so it's like, you know, put your shit out there because whoever this is, they're not going to stop until you have them butt naked in front of a crowd. You know what I'm saying? Until you had a ass exposed like nothing else before. I said things I can't come back from. Yeah. Telling your boss, telling whatever job you work at that, you know, like reporting you or whatever the case is. It's like this person did a lot of it. And I feel like they got other people to participate. So it didn't just seem like a coincidence. So this person with all of that eight of wands energy, this was like, again, if you a influencer or something, this is somebody reporting and reporting and reporting until your shit just got taken down or banned or whatever. If this person worked at your job, they called and called and called and complained and complained and complained and left negative review after negative review, hoping that you will lose your job, your place, and then you got too much to focus on. You in the streets with your kids, kids that could be their kids or kids that they once was in the life of. So, again, I, no mercy. If this person is sick beyond some uh, chlamydia or whatever the case is, it's up to you if you're going to be the angel that you are and be with this person. But honestly speaking, this person miss you because it fits snug like a glove. Like, this is annoying to me. I know I chose wrong is in reverse. So, this person really don't have no regrets about kicking you to the curb. They only have regrets that they didn't find better because they were sure that they was and they didn't. If it were just that easy, don't you think we'd be together? Okay, so I feel like that's about you and a new person. And it's not easy for you to be with anybody new because right now, you know, you still trying to uh, phase out of, of, of a situation that's old, played out, dried up, got dust on it with a bunch of negative memories with this past person. I want to spend my life with you. Your laugh is music to my ears. I feel like all of this is y'all new person. Okay, they feeling good about y'all. I love how we can have a whole conversation without even speaking. I have so much on my plate right now. Okay, that's y'all. I feel like y'all did have a lot on y'all plate, so y'all couldn't even concentrate on love, and that was the plan. All right, but at the end of the day, like I stated before, guys, this phase is over with. I feel like y'all putting y'all foot down, whether y'all hitting this person with reversal after reversal after reversal until they just stop. But it's time to get your leg back, period. Okay, I feel when you are intimate with others and that's what they hate. They don't like when you laying down, giving that, giving whatever you got to somebody else because they feel like just because it fits snug like a glove that you belong to them. Okay, rose tinted glasses is what you had with this person because again, they came off like a king of cups like you would have swore. I mean, this is probably the type of person that y'all at one point y'all was like, my man, my man, my man. And you just ended up finding out that this person is a clown, a clown, a clown. And it's, it might have been disappointing, but now it's like, it's been so heavily embedded in y'all mind that y'all can't see this person no other way. And it's no regrets. It's like, I did the right thing. At first, I did think that I had to step away from this person and it was like a tragedy. But now y'all seeing exactly why the cycle had to end because this person ain't nothing like what you thought they was over all of these years. And that's scary for somebody to be able to hold a persona that's not even really theirs for years and years. That is really, really a calculated person. Okay, so hopefully this helped knowing that this is coming to an end for you guys. Um, the end of March should be wrapping this up because this person is really destroying their own life with all of the energy that they putting out there is bound to come back. Nothing that you put out is just going to stick there. You know what I'm saying? Eventually it got to come back and it's not going to keep coming to somebody that's not putting it out. So this person going to have to eat their own words, eat that, drink their own medicine, consume their own poison and see exactly how it feels to be on the receiving end of the shit that they put you through. So like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.